Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. In this video, I want to clearly explain the upcoming Bitcoin gold hard fork. And I know if you're new to this space, there's been a lot to get your head around lately in the way of hard forks, network upgrades, and splits that result in that free money. So I'm going to explain exactly how this all works and why it occurs. Because on October 25th, there's another small group of individuals that are going to perform a user activated hard fork and split away from the main Bitcoin network to create a new coin called Bitcoin Gold. So if you've been reading the headlines lately, we're seeing these headlines such as first Bitcoin Cash and now Bitcoin Gold. And if we head over to CoinMarketCap and type Bitcoin, you know, there's now a lot of Coins that are either clones of the open source code or hard forks of the main network or coins that just have Bitcoin in the name. And I know that's why this can be so confusing. So I want to talk about why this happens. So whenever there's a not a consensus around the best direction to take the coin for the majority of people, a small group can make the decision to split away from the main network. So we've seen it in Ethereum when there was a small group that didn't agree with the hard fork and that resulted in Ethereum Classic. But on the flip side, when the majority of the community agrees in the right direction that the, the coin or the upgrade is going, we've, I've done a video recently on the Ethereum Metropolis hard fork that's not going to result in a split of the network and new coins. So that comes back to Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. So there was a clear group of people that decided that they wanted to increase the block size of Bitcoin rather than the current debate about SegWit and 2x. And I'll keep this video politically neutral. I'm not going to talk about what I think is best. I'm just going to state the facts. So the Bitcoin Cash crowd did a hard fork to create a new coin that has eight megabyte blocks. So I've done videos on all these guys if you want to check them out. So the, the Bitcoin hard fork, um, the Bitcoin Cash hard fork, the upcoming SegWit 2x hard fork. So I know this is a lot to all get your head around, but this all occurs because there's a small group of individuals that don't agree with the majority or the consensus, and they want to take that project in a different direction to give the coin unique properties that makes it slightly different from the previous version. And they can do that in a way of hard forking away. And that way you're... Bitcoin address also gets allocated with those new coins as we saw with Bitcoin Cash and that's how it results in that sort of free money. Now, at the time, there was a lot of built up energy in the ecosystem and Bitcoin Cash had a market cap that was, I guess, waiting to flow into that coin. So whether or not that results in the same outcome this time with Bitcoin Gold, I believe it's going to be a far smaller percentage. So at the moment, you know, Bitcoin Cash is around 10% of the, the market cap of Bitcoin. Now, I believe Bitcoin Gold is only going to be, you know, a couple of percent. So that you might get some free money. Maybe it's less than $100 per coin. And I'll talk about that a bit more towards the end of this presentation. So what is Bitcoin Gold and why are they doing this? So this all comes back to the issue of centralization and when Bitcoin first started, when I was first into it in 2012, you could mine Bitcoin with your home computer, okay? You only needed a CPU and then it got more competitive and people started using GPUs, so graphics processing units. And then as it became more and more competitive, people figured out that the more powerful the chip you had, the more you could mine Bitcoin. And so we then developed these ASICs chips, which stands for application specific integrated circuit and that basically means that these chips are built for one thing and one thing only and that's mining the Bitcoin algorithm. Now that results in those chips being orders of magnitude more powerful than the average user with a GPU or CPU so it's no longer um, possible or profitable to just mine Bitcoin with your home desktop computer. So. What the Bitcoin Gold crowd are doing is making a new algorithm. So rather than the current Bitcoin algorithm, which um, runs on the SHA-256 protocol, they're going to upgrade that to the Equihash protocol. And all that means is that it's still going to be done through proof of work and computers mining, but it makes it resistant 
to this ASIC chip. So it's a more optimized version for GPU mining. So anyone with a graphics um, processing unit, so anyone with a gaming computer that's got a GPU in their home desktop computer can now mine Bitcoin gold. Okay, so it does level the playing field in some ways from those you know, huge mining farms we see in China and these expensive ASIC chips where you've got to outlay all that capital to, to buy the hardware. So that's the thinking behind Bitcoin gold and why they're doing what they're doing. Now, the pushback is that, yes, there's some centralization with mining and ASIC chips and the producers of those, but the reality is that NVIDIA and AMD also have, control the vast market share of GPU you know, graphics cards production. So I mean, it, this all comes back to, is there a market need for this? And I'll leave that up to you to decide, but this is why they're producing their, um, their version of Bitcoin. So as I said, similar, you know, total supply, it is still proof of work, um, rather than being ASIC mined, it's GPU. The difficulty does adjust each block, which is very different to the Bitcoin network, which is two weeks, and we saw Bitcoin cash um, difficulty adjusting up and down faster than that two-week period, okay? So it's a little bit different again. Um, this Bitcoin gold will have replay protection, so it can't be spent on two different chains. So the next thing I want to talk about is how this is all going to play out. So when Bitcoin cash hit the hit the network I guess or had the Genesis block sorry those that were had their finger on the pulse and knew exactly what they were doing had the opportunity to quickly sell and, and we did this in my members room we were able to sell for a few hundred dollars here you know there's a 12 hour window where you could sell for you know a few hundred dollars and before the majority of people work out how to do this and send it to an exchange and, and then sell and we see that sharp decline but then obviously we have a bit of an equilibrium pattern and for a number of reasons bitcoin cash has now captured you know that 10 percent market share as i spoke about but there's definitely not going to be the same degree of community support for bitcoin gold at this stage so i don't expect it to you know take off in price and be worth a few hundred dollars as i spoke about at the start of the video the reality is it's probably going to be you know around a hundred dollars or less but if you're quick to move and you've got your coins in a in a wallet or exchange that says yeah we're going to allocate you that bitcoin gold straight away then you've got that opportunity to sell to make that free money and as we've seen with bitcoin cash it all depends on the wallet and the exchange and there's some that are still yet to um, allocate that bitcoin cash to their users that had bitcoin in their wallet so keep an eye on their their Twitter, to, I'm sure they'll update which exchanges and wallets are going to support Bitcoin Gold. But that's how this is all going to play out, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I've cleared that up for you. So please hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, share these videos around, and thanks for tuning in, guys. Cheers.